Hi, um, I did put a suggestion in recently to my local MP who um, hasn't responded, um, obviously, because they never, because hardly hardly ever do, because they're never interested in what people, in, in genuine things that people say. Um, so I'm not going to hold my breath on his response. Uh, but basically, I did email a suggestion into my MP to bring in a car swap scheme for people, sort of, sort of like people who have got or got low incomes and not much money to spend on a new car, who may live in ULEZ zone, like in London, obviously Sadiq Khan's planning to bring his hated ULEZ zone expansion plans in. Um, so yeah, um, I did I did email my MP a suggestion of having a car swap site, so you people outside of London who don't who never drive into London, who have got ULEZ cars that are ULEZ compliant, um, could potentially swap them for someone from... As long as if they're not worth much money, they could swap for someone in who lives in London, perhaps um, about that hasn't got a, who's got a non ULEZ compliant car. Um, it is just, I mean, for a similar value, obviously, I mean, like thousand to fifteen hundred pounds. If you've got a fifteen hundred non ULEZ car in London and you live in London with a plant within the planned um, expansion zone area, then you, you using this using this potential site, you could swap your car for a. For a for a ULEZ compliant car for for ten thousand to fifteen hundred, and if you've got five thousand pound, then five thousand. So basically, same value, um, same similar value cars really. Um, obviously, some stupid idiot did disagree with my suggestion, saying that he would never swap his hybrid. I wasn't telling him to do that at all. Um, it was just if someone had a ULEZ car that they either weren't using or didn't want anymore, um, they could swap it for a non ULEZ compliant car if they didn't live. If they didn't have to travel into London regularly or travel into London at all, uh, don't particularly like driving in London, but that's another story. Um, yeah, so that's a little suggestion I put in. Obviously, I'm not holding my breath for that. Um, just a little suggestion, really, to bring in a, a sort of like where people could swap cars around. I mean, they don't have to swap them for ULEs and non ULEs compliant cars. You know, they could swap cars for whatever reason, you know. But, you know, I think they need to bring in a site like that because it would give people who are on low incomes in London. There are, you know, a lot of a large percentage of people in London are on low incomes. So it would at least give them a little give them a little idea. And it's good for the environment on two two in two respects. First of all, people don't have to go out and buy a new car, which when sort of like because obviously there's carbon. Obviously, there, there's environmental issues with building new cars, obviously. It from in the within the factory and so on and so forth, and also not only that, um, you can swap any. I mean, any car can be ULEZ compliant. I mean, even like a something like a one point four or one point six Ford Fiesta or a Ford Focus or a Vauxhall Astra can be ULEZ compliant, um, as long as it's a two fat round man sort of like two thousand and six or newer. So yeah, I mean, any car can be swapped. I mean, any any car can be ULEZ compliant as long as it's not a turb. As long as a diesel car that's older than 2014 unless it's a diesel hybrid or any petrol car made before 2006 although a lot of pre-2006 cars are are you less compliant so it just you just have to put your number plate into the website and check it out so yeah um i did put that suggestion into my mp um be interesting to see what i mean at the end of the day i haven't had a response yet i'm not holding my breath for one either so anyway decide so but i thought that'd be an idea that would help people in london um let me know what you think thank you Goodbye.